Hello and welcome to this crash course in using the new stem splitter feature in Bananabox 2025. The BB Stem Splitter is an amazing tool which separates an audio file containing multiple instruments into individual tracks, bass, drums, guitars and piano, vocals, and residual sounds. In this video, I'm going to use the stem splitter on a song to extract those various elements. Then I'm going to use the audio chord wizard to sync up Band in a Box to those tracks and get the chords. And then I'll try out some different Band in a Box styles, mixing and matching the Band in a Box tracks along with the extracted stems for some cool, fun remixing. Also, the song I'm going to use was not recorded to a click track, and it speeds up a little bit, as lots of recordings do. And I'm going to use another great new feature, the Equalize Tempo feature on the stems, to have them lock in to a set tempo. So first of all, you might be asking, why would I use the stem splitter feature? There are lots of reasons you might want to use this. You could take your favorite song, split it into the various parts, try it out with new Band in a Box tracks, or try singing yourself with the original tracks. You might have heard some classic old recordings that have gotten a modern remix treatment. Well, now you yourself can do that with this feature. Or maybe you want to revisit old songs you recorded or old family recordings and then swap out different instruments or keep the instruments and redo the vocals. And the Equalize Tempo feature has lots of applications as well. For example, maybe one of the old recordings you're working on has tempo issues and you want to fix that. Or maybe you have a cover of a song and you want to try taking the stem of the cover singer and put that over the tracks of the original. Well, with the Equalize Tempo feature, you could make them both sync up exactly. So first of all, I'm going to open a file from our tutorial BB2025 folder. I'm opening a WMA file that's just the first minute of a funky pop song called The Breeze. When you upgrade to Band in a Box 2025, you'll actually have the full song in this folder, so you can try out what I'm doing here yourself. I made a shorter version just for the purposes of this video, so I'm going to open that one. So we can see now the song is opened up on the audio track. I'll turn off Style is Enabled, and I'll save the song, and I'll save it as The Breeze Stems. So now I'll play a little bit of the track, and also you can see another new feature with Band in a Box 2025, and that is this green scrolling line that goes across the entire tracks window. Feeling free and fine, ain't afraid of nothing. So right away now, I'm going to use the new Stem Splitter feature by going to File, Open Special, Open Using Stem Splitter. Now here you can open a new file, or you can use the existing audio track, which is what I'll do. As a track prefix, I'll put The Breeze. I don't want to create a new song because I've already saved this song. And I want to include all of the stems, but not the master, because the master is already on there. So now I'll just press OK Generate Stems. And we can see that it took just over six seconds to get all of the stems. And we can see that they're all labeled the breeze and then the name of the stem afterwards. So let's start checking some of these out. Bass. Drums. Guitars and piano all go on this track, along with other chording comping type instruments like organ. And you can hear there are two guitars and organ on this track. All he knows is that the wind is blowing him Vocals are completely along. isolated now and sound great. Uh -huh. And residual is just all the other sounds not included in the other stems. This is not a particularly useful track on its own, but if you play all the stems together, if this is included, then you're basically getting the same audio as the original source. And as I pointed out, one use of the stems is to have everything except the vocals great for a karaoke party. Now, of course, you will have noticed that the bar lines above are not really in sync with the song. So I'm going to use an older feature called the Audio Chord Wizard to make the bars in Band in a Box sync up to this song. So in this window, I can add bar lines to the waveform, and then tempo changes will automatically be set in the Band in a Box file to conform to those bar lines. You can enter them by pressing this Add Bar Line button, or by typing L on your computer keyboard. And I'll do that now to enter the first bar line. 
And you can also do this by having the song play and then tapping L on your computer keyboard at the bar lines while it's playing. So I'll do that now. So I realized that I still had the vocals muted from when I was demonstrating that before, but that doesn't matter, of course. And I now have all of the bar lines entered. You can also move around these bar lines manually just by clicking and dragging them if they're a little bit off. And let me just have a quick look at some of these. I think I mostly got them. Maybe I'll just move this over a little bit and this one, but yeah, and on the whole, they now match up exactly. And now you can see that the chord chart is now changing bars in time with the song, but it's not actually showing the chords themselves. So I'm going to use the audio chord wizard to figure out the chords of this song by pressing this analyze button. And it's done a great job of figuring out the chords. You can, of course, still make changes to this, add part markers and stuff like that to indicate new sections, change the chords if they're not completely accurate. I think it also might have ended a bit earlier, so I'll change the end to this. And now the fun part. Now I'm going to try out some of these stems with different Band in a Box styles. I'll go into the style picker and filter by 4-4, four, four, even eighths or sixteenths, 85 beats per minute. I'll sort by date so I can check out some of our newer styles at the top of the list. And I'll mute all of the stems except for the vocals, and I'll just start double clicking on these styles to try them out with the extracted vocal stem. Just a young man running, feeling free and fine. Ain't afraid of nothing. <laughs> And letters wishing he would hurry back All he knows is that the wind is blowing him along oh. Oh. And I'll try mixing and matching some of these stems. Maybe I'll mute the band in a box stem and bring back the, the bass stem from the song. Maybe include a little bit of this. Just a young man running, feeling free and fine. So there's one more thing I want to do, and that's use another feature that's been enhanced with Band in a Box 2025, Equalize Tempos. I'll go back to the audio chord wizard again. And you can see the song starts out around 85 beats per minute. But if I go to the end, we can see that it's 87 or 88 beats per minute by the time we get to the end. The Equalize Tempos feature can smooth that out so it's a single consistent tempo throughout. And it can now also work on other audio tracks in tandem with the main audio track. So I'll press that. I can select whatever tempo I want here, but I'll go with what it suggested, 85. It's now equalizing all of the tracks. And now the entire thing is exactly 85 beats per minute throughout. Just a young man running, feeling free and fine. 
and just a young man. And everything still syncs up perfectly in Van in a Box. Ain't afraid of nothing. Ain't afraid of nothing. Has a lot of time. Family sins and photographs. We hope you enjoy the new stem splitter in Van in a Box 2025. Thanks for watching and have fun.